Hi everyone. Today we have with us Digisha Kaneria, who has been placed at Accenture as a so associate software engineer, and she is from RMD Sirgut School of Engineering, 21 batch. Today, from uh, Digisha, we'll be learning more about the process for Accenture, the interview process. Then we'll uh, we'll get to know about what all subjects to focus on, what what kind of questions to prepare, and so let's get started. And over to you, Digisha. Hello, everyone. Um, first of all, we will start with the job description that Accenture offers. Accenture offers two roles for freshers. First is AAC, which is Associate Software Engineer and have the package of 4.5 LPA. And the other is FSE, which is Full Stack Engineer and have the package of 6.5 LPA. Uh, now, can we start with the form filling, Pratik? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. As long as the form filling process is considered simple, the link will be shared by the TPO. Only one important thing to keep in mind while registration is that one should have a PAN card compulsorily. And the criteria for that is 60% in both 10th and 12th standard and 6.5 CGPA in your graduation with no active backlogs. Okay, so we have covered job description and form filling. So now we can move ahead uh, with the for the process like when did you okay. fill form uh, when did you receive the call for interview or the shortlisting and the entire process okay the uh, process starts with the exam right so i will first discuss the exam pattern okay okay accenture conducts three assessment rounds the first section is cognitive and technical which is followed by coding and then finally communication assessment Talking about the first round, that is cognitive and technical, there will be 90 questions and the time provided will be 90 minutes. Cognitive section will have 50 questions and it consists of three parts, which are verbal ability, analytical reasoning and numerical ability. Each part has approximately 16 to 17 questions. Now, the difficulty level will be moderate. Some of the important topics for the numer uh, numerical ability are uh, like profit and loss, ratio and proportion, HCF and LCM, uh, pipes and centons, time, uh, time and work, probability, uh, more percentage, speed and distance, average, etc. Uh, then uh, some of the topics to focus for analytic analytical reasoning are so arrangements, blood relations, directional sense questions, setting arrangement, and analogies, etc. Uh, this was about cognitive, uh, cognitive section. Then, uh, then is the technical section. It will consist of 40 questions. Topics covered in this section are some of the uh, common application questions and MS Office questions, then pseudocode. Uh, the other sections were uh, Fundamentals of network security and cloud, I guess. And uh, each topic will have almost 13 to 14 questions. Uh, then uh, talking about the cutoff, both the cognitive and technical sections will have a sectional cutoff of 65 to 70% separately. So you need to score well in both the section, cognitive as well as technical. This was about the first round. And if you clear in this, after uh, 10 or 15 minutes, uh, you will come to know whether you have cleared the round or no, not. And if you have cleared, a, uh, cleared the round, then immediately your coding assessment uh, will start. It will be of 45 minutes and there will be two, uh, two coding questions. You can either code in C, C++, Java or Python. And uh, bo uh, the difficult le uh, difficulty level will be moderate kind of. It will not be too easy, not too difficult. So there will be no need to worry about it. You can easily solve at least one question. Um, then after clearing both the rounds, uh, there will be uh, the third. Third will be the communication test. Communication test will be of 20 minutes. In that, in that your sentence mastery, vocabulary, fluency, pronunciation will be judged. It has some five to six parts. Some of the sentences will be shown and you have to pronounce that. Next will be, you will have to listen to some sentences and then repeat it. 
some of the parts are like you uh, you will have to hear a story and based on that questions will be asked in the end you will be given a simple topic and you will have to talk about it for a few seconds you will find many video youtube videos to refer for it like you can practice it through that and talking about aptitude we can practice it from rs agrawal or there are many platforms such as prep insta uh, india bigs etc i i had practiced from those platforms only okay uh, so could you tell more about the coding questions like what what to more focus on that like um, uh, were they arrays questions or strings or anything like that yeah more more focus is given on like array string stacks like that questions uh, talking about me i had one uh, g uh, hcf question and the other one was uh, one a um, other question was like uh, there were two circles it, it was a bit complicated so i don't remember it exactly okay and is it necessary to clear both the questions or only one question with all the test cases is okay it is uh, no it is always good to clear with both but even if you clear one it's fine like um, it's okay okay but we should always try to clear both of them yeah right and so do you have any other preparation tips so you have told for uh, the uh, cognitive test we can say the aptitude test and yeah. for coding question uh, do you have uh, any specific source where, where you studied from yeah i studied from uh, platforms like hacker and then hacker earth i used to uh, also geeks for geeks is there i used to take some of the questions and pra uh, practice it every day at least uh, try to practice one or two questions every day not more because uh, it uh, you may feel that it's hectic to do more and more every day but at least you should practice one or two questions every day not more than that yeah right so okay that was all about the process and so could you share your experience being part of this company it's a wonderful experience talking about accenture it's a global company and uh, work culture is so good over here like um, we enjoy working over here i have it's not uh, being much time i have joined but whatever the process and um, a few days i have spent over here it's good okay right so uh, just could you share the links with me so that i can link them all in the description for preparation and other stuff and also okay. i'll add your linkedin description in the videos uh, like linkedin url in the videos description so that people can connect with you in case they have any doubts okay okay no issues yeah uh, should i share it now or at the end it uh, will be okay you can share that with me then i'll post it in the description okay okay no issues i will share with you at the end Yeah, Will yeah. It be fine? yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, okay, okay. So, are there any specific tips on the like for for the last round of the process? Like communication or interview? Yeah, yeah. Also, communication and interview both. So, any okay. specific questions? No, communication test is very easy. It will be of twenty minutes, and there will be various five to six parts. Like I told, uh, they will uh, share some sentences. You will have to pronounce that. Then uh, uh, they will uh, read one sentence, and uh, after uh, five seconds or uh, some time, we have to uh, repeat it same, repeat the same sentence in a clear manner. Then okay. there will be a story like um, they will uh, give. Um, they will play some paragraph and we have to uh, listen it carefully and based on that questions will be asked okay and about interview talking about interview uh, it will be technical plus hr interview in technical section uh, they will focus on the con basic concepts like uh, op op concepts like some of them are inheritance polymorphism and some of the questions are uh, maybe from rdbms like some simple queries or they may ask like why it is used uh, what are the benefits of rdbms and those simple questions they they will not uh, go deep in technical mostly most of the times uh, hr questions are more in accenture interview okay but uh, more but, but most important thing is your resume which describes about the projects internships or any certifications you may have done there may be several questions on it so be sure that you put the things only that you know perfectly in your resume we are freshers 
they don't expect uh, too much from us but only the basics and your ability to learn nothing else yeah. and talking uh, yeah and talking about hr section it is very quite easy the most common questions are like introduction your weakness strength your interest etc and some of the questions may be like uh, you may be given a particular situation and you have to tell them how would you handle it like i was i was given a situation like have you worked in any team and if if there was a conflict between uh, two people like um, there was a particular topic and two people are conflicting on it then what would you do such situations are given to judge you okay right yeah and for technical interview so there are mostly hr questions and for for technical questions are there any specific subjects you would suggest to focus more on apart from ob would, and uh, yeah uh no i would uh, suggest for accenture i would suggest op and rdbms and focus more on your resume okay like all the projects you have done internship there may be several questions on it okay okay yeah so yeah i guess it covers everything in detail okay okay so uh thank you digisha for your guidance i guess i i hope thank this will help help all the students from siyagad and all those who are trying in accenture Uh, yeah yeah no issues yeah my pleasure